Call of Duty's Vanguard's multiplayer was revealed last night and even though we didn't get an early access to the beta, we still have some information about the game that you need to know. In Call of Duty Vanguard's multiplayer, we have a brand new game mode by the name Patrol, which is basically hardpoint but that point is continuously moving and it won't stop for anybody. So all you have to do is stand in that point and move along with it. I guess that will add a little bit of tension and variation. Apart from that, the traditional team deathmatch, kill confirmed, search and destroy are all gonna be returning in the game. The game also have different type of game modes, such as tactical which is basically a 6v6 match, assault which will have 20 to 25 players in total and blitz which will give you 24 vs 24 player match. Now all of these type of game modes will possibly be available in all maps. With blitz mode, things can go wild since it's 24 vs 24 in a smaller map. Next up is new gameplay elements and this time around, the only new thing added to the game is a slight destruction and the reason I'm saying it's slight because it's nothing like a destruction in Battlefield. There will be some areas in the game such as wooden planked walls or glass walls that can be destroyed. You can use them to your advantage if you can. You can run through a wooden planked wall easily like it was nothing and you won't even get hurt when you do that which is definitely realistic. So this slight destruction might add a different touch to the gameplay which necessarily won't give you advantage or a disadvantage in a match. Other than that you have blind fire where you can mount and fire on the hip and also with normal mounting you can now go sideways instead of sticking to one point as it was introduced in Modern Warfare 2019. Apart from that everything looks and feels the same as Modern Warfare 2019 since the engine is basically the same. Moving away from gameplay, there are some new things added to perks, skill streaks, and feel upgrades. In perks, we have a new thing such as Ghost, which you obviously know, but this time around, it won't be detecting you if you are moving, which means if you stand still, it might detect you. Radar is another one which is new, where if someone fires a non silenced weapon, they will be shown in the map, and that will heavily be used 100% in Warzone. The kill streaks are basically the similar to that of Modern Warfare 2019 with an addition to dogs, because it's always fun killing dogs. Everything else is basically catering to World War II era. Field upgrades have added some brand new stuff as well such as armor plates which is pretty interesting uh, to add. There is also Goliath which is a remote control mini tank which can explode if you go close to an enemy to kill them. And with Goliath you have 30 seconds to control it and will self detonate on its own after 30 seconds. Now about Gunsmith which is returning in this game as well. This time around you will have 10 attachments on your weapon instead of having 5 which was introduced in Modern Warfare. So that's a really good addition because previously we are limited to 5 attachments, now we have 10 and even though there was a blueprint that was given in the game, it didn't have all 10 attachments. I think the max you could have gone was 8. Apart from that you cannot get 10 attachments. So it's really cool because in that way you can have a different set of gun created for yourself. Also since it's World War 2, you won't have many scopes in realistically, but Vanguard just moved away from reality a little bit and added a ton lot of scopes with just for fun. I think it definitely works for a war zone especially because I believe that's what they're setting up to. The rest of the gunsmith is basically the same as you have seen in the previous Call of Duty games and there's some really good ways to customize the weapons and having 10 attachments that will just make your gun feel and play different. And at the very end, the open beta is coming to PC as well and it will be dropping next weekend from 18th to 20th and if you pre-order the game, you'll get an early access to the beta that starts from 16th. PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 players have an advantage as usual because they get this beta this very weekend instead. So these were some of the new details that you needed to know about the game. So far Call of Duty Vanguard feels simple, normal, generic, nothing brand new or nothing game changing things have been added to the game. But it does play good, it does feel good, apart from that I guess you will have to wait and play open beta and understand whether this game is something that is good in terms of multiplayer. What are you guys thoughts about Vanguard's multiplayer? Let us know in the comments below and definitely subscribe to Gamer Connect to watch more videos coming up very soon.